Hey, how's it going? Uh, I shot a video last night where I actually did a haircut with this again, and it didn't come out very good, so I'm not going to post it. It's like the, you know, I was all zoomed in, and I don't know. This phone is crazy, but um, but in the video I said that I would uh, show the haircut in this video, so that's what I'm going to do. And I made a lot of mistakes on my hair. And I'm about ready just to uh, cut off uh, quite a bit of it. But you know what? I'm used to having longer hair and slicking it back and looking all like that. And uh, you know, it looks looks okay right now. I mean, if I had any flaws, I would I could definitely just go like this and and they go away. Uh, but uh, for right now. Get the glue off my fingers. Right now, I'm just going to kind of see what it looks like. I know uh, pomade covers a multitude of sins, but what I did, I did a three-eighths right here. And I went to do the back. I just like whew, took a kind of a chunk out of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm so tired of fucking with my hair. Uh, but, you know, uh, I think... I think I'm getting closer to getting it. You know what I mean? Okay, so today's shave is going to be with the Seville. And uh, I'm going to be using the finishing up with the chest sire since it's really close to the same thing from both from Barrister and Man. The star of the show is going to be my new Philharmonica 13. Um, I... Uh, had to re had to tighten up the hinge pin and for some reason this thing is just wanting to go off to the one side and it just drives me nuts uh i've been having that problem with a lot of razors lately i don't know if it's me or what but um uh, that is no good so i'm gonna have to take that pin out and redo it so um i got a really super good shave from that barrister and man or that uh uh, Wade and Butcher razor at full wedge. Man, that thing is pretty sweet. I was, I was like kind of shocked that I was getting such a good shave. So today's Friday. It's rumbling outside and uh, threatening to really rain like a mother out there. It's about 3.30 here. Wife went to the chiropractor. When she gets back, we're supposed to go out and do a few things. Whew, love the scent. Patatucci. Patatui, what is it called? Pat Patatucci. Uh, let's see. I forget how to say that word. Uh, I can't find it right away, so. Oh, well. Just lather. Using my, uh, using my Razor Rocks, uh, bore brush. Here's took a few hairs out. Um, so, anyway, how's everyone doing, huh? Uh, talked to Lance la yesterday, that was cool. And Eric should be getting his package today, which is cool. And, uh, best wishes for him, but, uh, in his recovery. Uh, so, you know, um, I don't know what anyone else thinks about it, but, to me, concerning the coronavirus and the, and the inoculations they're trying to give us and all this different shit, if Biden wants me to get an inoculation and if Fauci wants me to get an inoculation, I'm not going to do it. And that's just my instinct, right? So um, uh, I found a video of a doctor that's just gone viral. And he's a virologist, he's a famous virologist. And he's saying that if you get this shot, Says your, says your natural immune system is ready to just take on this, this virus and other viruses, right? And But if you take on this shot, uh, that inoculation is a long-term situation for your body. And it just may kill you because what it does is actually suppresses your uh, natural immune system. I'm going to put a video down below and that's all I'm going to say about it.
I'm excited to shave uh, with this today um, because uh, last time I shaved with it, my skin wasn't um, in the best condition. And so um, I couldn't really tell, but today I'm shaving all this off. I hate being a wet shaver and have to walk around with this on my face. It just looks so tacky to me. So let's do... Uh, uh, let's do the ice cube from Eric again. So, it's not cold out here. It's going to get a rain, I can tell you that. Uh, my lawn is just looking good. Just outrageous. Garden's doing good. And uh, uh, this weekend, we got to build a little picket fence for the, keep the rabbits out. And I have a, a rabbit trap now. So, uh, so, uh, I'm going to try to start trapping these things, too. Hopefully, I'll be successful. Uh, like I did with the squirrels. Man, I caught nine squirrels, man. <laughs> That's incredible. So. Nice ladder. Love the, love the, the bowl out there, man. Feels good. Menthol feels good. <clears throat> the Seville uh, from Barrister and Man is all right with me. It sure is. So, uh, freshly honed, freshly stropped. And uh, this was such a lucky find. Really was. Oh yeah, it's smooth. Could be a little sharper though. I can feel that. Um, so I think when I take the scales off and uh, do that repinning, I'm going to rehone this. Thing really sounds like it's doing a number and it is <laughs> oh yeah I meant those doing good So I just caught part of the guy's uh, video, but I think uh, Robert Ortiz moved to Japan. How exciting is that, huh? Getting a phone call. Mm, no weeper so far. 
still got menthol. I don't think I need any more. Definitely feel it now. The whole thing for me about cutting my own hair is I need to learn the lessons. Learn, learn, learn from my own mistakes from a previous cut. And uh, that's not what I did when I did the back. It's like, uh, kind of gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, so a thought just came across my mind. Not these rabbits, is that? Uh, maybe I should be practicing my snaring skills, huh? <laughs> because who knows what's going to happen? You know, I mean, right now gas prices are going up, food prices are going up. You know, I'm telling people, you have, there's something out there that you want or you need, you get it right now. Because it might be $50 more expensive next week. This is what this administration is doing to us. Pretty good. Oh, that's where I cut myself last time with this thing. Uh, or with the weight and butcher, actually. So, that looked pretty good. Let's get this off. I'm going out to see uh, Michelle's mom uh, uh, in the fall. And uh, I don't think they have Wi-Fi out there. I don't know what they got. But I'm kind of excited because there are uh, three uh, antique stores out there. They're really close by. It's been five miles. And I want to hit and see if they have any cool razors. It's hard to find razors, really. Uh, you used to be able to go. There's, I used to be able to go to this place called the Armadillo up here. It's like a huge antique short store, and buy find one or two razors. You know, whenever I go in there. But now you go in there, it's like, okay, the razors are closed. The price isn't apparent. You have to call someone over. You look at it, open it up, like a big chip in, 125 bucks. And estate sales, you go to estate sales and whatever's there. If you don't get there like the first second they open up, know where you're going, you're not going to find a razor. You're going to be gone. Or if they list a razor and they're listing, uh, then people, I guess, call in. I don't know what they do, but they get them before anyone else does. 
uh, which is one reason I'm kind of stingy with the razors I do have because they're just becoming harder to find. And Um, I was on a Thiers Assard trip for a while. I found a really super ornate one and I missed the bid by 10 bucks. Uh, But um, buying a razor, another razor would require me selling another razor. I do have six downstairs I could sell. I just need to decide what I want to do and just do it. See what I got. Move it right there. Move it right there. Yeah, this razor needs to be tuned up. But it is beautiful. So look at this. Can you see that? This fucking thing. Uh, it's trying to go off to the one side like that. So, that's all right. I know how to fix it. And it's just sometimes people don't know how to fix stuff. You gotta send it out, which nice. Very nice. second I missed a spot right here yeah this razor needs a tune up uh, when I when I honed this I didn't ink the edge uh, And I really don't think I need to. Uh, so, yeah, let's get some glue on. No stepping pencil today, which is happy. Very nice. So, still got to get my wife to do the back of my hair. But uh, for the most part, I'm feeling pretty good, at least looking at me from this angle. <laughs> 
look at me from the back or something. I'm going, oh my God, I don't have a hat that pulls down that far. <laughs> so, okay, here's the piste la resistance. You know, I complain a lot about about uh, splashes not having a strong scent. But man, they do feel good. Uh, all right, man. This is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge Shaved and Chronicles. And uh, just did a shave with the Philharmonica in the uh, chest sire. So, you know, take care, man. Uh, stay safe in this crazy world, okay? Keep your eyes out and pay attention to what's going on around you, man. You know, it's no reason to be victimized or put in a bad situation unless you ha absolutely have to. And if you have to, fight like a fucking badger. You know what I mean? All right, man. Take care. Bye.